hello guys so welcome to this brand new video today we are going to make this simple birthday flyer so let's get started but then before we start if you are new here make sure that you like the video and subscribe and also share so that we learn together all right so first of all let's go to files as usual and select new to select our dimensions Alright, so we are using 5 inches and then the dimensions are 5 by 5. The resolution should be 300 and then the color mode should be RGB color, transparent background and I think everything is okay here. Alright, so create. Okay, so what we are going to do here is that we will go to the adjustment layer and then select solid color this is the color for the background so i'll put the color code in the source file so you can copy them and then paste them all right so straight up let's go to the source files and then pick this background that i've named back and bring it here all right so after bringing it here what we'll do is the blending should be luminosity right so you have to change it from normal to luminosity and then you have to decrease the opacity a bit to about 50 yes so decrease the opacity to about 50 and then the fill should go to about 80 so i think this is okay 77 all right create a new layer go back to the source files and bring in the second background that i've named bc2 so after bringing in make sure that you enlarge it a bit to complement the frame all right so after doing like that right now all we do is that we have to decrease the opacity a bit decrease it to about 60 all right make it 70 right 70 and then the fill should also come down to about 50 50 okay no i think the fill should also be 70 so that we will see it all right so after doing that then you go to make sure that that layer is selected then you go to filter and then you go to blur and you select motion blur right then the angle should be zero and then the distance should be about the distance should be 30 right the distance should be 30 all right so um after that you click you create a new layer and then after creating the new layer make sure that you change this color to this white here kind of white here i'll put the color code in the description of the video so you can just copy it and then paste it all right then you select the brush to right and then you select soft round brush you can use the curly bracket to increase the size or you can increase it from that side all right so after that then you brush here a bit then you change the blending mode for the brush to um let's see okay let's use screen all right to screen okay so after doing that we are done with the background and then select this layer of the layer for the brush and then press shift and select the last um picture or the first one that is the back right after selecting all of them you press ctrl g then we group them and then we will name them background 
background. All right, then you press enter. And then you create a new layer, all right? Then you go to the source files and then bring in this picture, that is picture two. So bring it here. Yes. Mm, you have to decrease the size a bit of this picture. So you can decrease the size a bit and then drag it to this point, all right? Let it come here a bit. All right. So after bringing in the picture, you press Control Shift A, all right? Okay. So the Control Shift A is for the camera raw filter. So we have to do some touches. You can increase the exposure. You, you can increase the texture and the clarity, the highlights also to make it look nicer than it was. All right. All right. So this is how it is looking right now. It is nicer compared to the first one. So you create a new layer and then you bring in the other picture the picture one all right bring it like this so okay so i think this is okay all right so we we'll do that same touches to that one but then i don't want to go back to camera or filter and then you know increase the exposure and all that i want to apply the same thing that i did for the first one to this one so what i'll do is i'll press alt right and after pressing alt i'll drag the camera raw filter here straight up to the picture that i just brought in right then you release it you see that the same features will be applied to that picture so that is one way of achieving um, or applying the same features to multiple pictures or multiple um, layers in Photoshop. All right, so after this, you create a new layer. Then you select the brush tool. I think we've already selected it. But then, this is not a color we want to use. So you select this main color here. And then you select... Um, I want to select a color from her face that actually matches the background all right but i'm not really getting it all right so i think this is this color is fine okay so after that i'll increase the brush a bit then i'll brush over it all right so that all the sharp edges will disappear my flow has been decreased to 53 increase your flow to 100 then just brush over it like this all right so i think this is fine okay so right now we are moving straight to the text but then before that select this layer or the brush layer and then select the layer for the first picture and then you press ctrl g all right we are grouping down to so that it wouldn't be scattered in the layer panel so I'll name that pictures, right? Pictures. Okay, press enter. Okay. So create a new layer for the test. And then let's first of all write the name of the lady. So change. I think the font I used is called Bastiga. Bastiga 1, right? So if you don't have it on your PC, you can download and install it and then it will just appear. All right. And then the font size should be 72. The color should be this color, All right? I'll put the color codes in the source files. So you can just copy them and then paste. The name is Ramat, All right? Ramat. Okay. So, but I think mm, it is too small. Increase the size a bit to 83, right? And bring A here. Okay, so we are done with the remote. 
and then create a new layer and write um for that one we are using this um, font style or font type that is called romantic harmony right romantic harmony so if you don't have that one too you can download it and then install it the color should be white okay white color and then the font size should be like 16 okay so name is rihanna no rahina so r a h i n n a okay so drag it to this side i think the system is big so decrease the size a bit to 14 okay let's make it 14 and drag it to this point all right so yes and then the next thing here is the birthday right that one is we are we are still using the romantic harmony font style but then that one shouldn't be in cups so write birthday birthday all right so select it and then the color should be this just as the color for the ramat i'll put everything in the description of the video so and then increase the size a bit to about um, 30 all right yes 30 is okay and drag it to this drag it to this point and then write the happy all right that one should be in cups happy select it and then change the size to 16 and then the font that i used for that one is called dm sans dm sans okay so i select the black so if you don't have all these fonts you can just go online search the name download it and then install the fonts on your pc you close photoshop open it then it will come okay i think the size is big so reduce it to well 12 is okay and then the color should be white pure white okay and drag it here all right so the next thing here is um let's look at the template flyer okay so these ones i'll just copy it from here and then paste it here i think that'll be fine okay so what i wrote is long life prosperity good health and happiness all right so you can write that one too and then you just bring it to this point yes so this is okay and then next thing here is that we need to draw a circle right so we select the ellipse tool you select the ellipse tool and then you draw your circle nicely yeah okay but then the fill should be this color the same as the color for the birthday right just as i said i'll put i'll add the color codes to the source files so you can just copy them and then paste them all right so after drawing the ellipse to or the the circle you create a new layer and then select the test tool right and then looking at the template flyer you would fit me so you just write fit me here we are using dm sounds and then the color should be so we just use the um the eye drop tool and then select this color or the color for the brush right that is the brown color for the background i'll put it's in the description so you can just co copy and paste all right so um, so 
select black select so fit okay i'm coming okay so you write fit me all right so adjust it to fit the circle right so what i'll do is i'll increase the line spacing a bit and probably increase the font size to about 11 line spacing 11 so this is okay right okay but then if you look at the template flyer you are seeing some effects here right so that is what we'll do right now so just create a new layer and then go back to the source files i have txe a file that i've named txe the texture and then you bring it here all right then we just rotate it just something like this is fine okay and then you increase the size to fit the frame all right so just increase till it fits okay so this is okay if you have something like this we are almost there so what you do is you have to change the blending mode from normal to um, screen right you have to change it from normal to screen so after doing that you decrease the opacity to about 50 and then you change you decrease the fill to to about 45 right so i think this is okay but then when i did it it was covering the face of the lady so i just uh, created a, a layer mask and then after creating the layer mask i just you know cleaned the face of the lady all right i just did some touches on her face like this all right so if you've come this far congratulations you made a new flyer if you are new another flyer if you are an old user so make sure that you like the video subscribe and share so that we learn together